Today's attacks could make an impact here in Texas. As KXAN's Phil Prazen reports, many Texans are turning to leaders and policies that reinforce security, but it may fringe on civil liberties. The debate between security and freedom plays out again with two violent events overseas. It's very difficult to protect soft targets and large gatherings of people. And you can only, at times, do what you can. Fred Burton, vice president of Stratfor, says departments like APD are always looking at global events to predict safety measures at local events, like the Trail of Lights. Uh, there'll be lessons learned that have come out of this. They also reinforce prejudices people have towards certain groups. And so we're likely to see more anti-Muslim rhetoric. We're likely to see more restrictions on human rights. Public policy professor Jeremy Suri says there are recent examples. Right. Texas opting out of the refugee resettlement program. Donald Trump, who campaigned on America First, was just selected by our electoral college system. He plans to clamp down on people trying to get into the country. And in Texas, leaders move to punish cities that offer sanctuary to people coming here illegally. There are moments historically when we see more integration and moments when we see more separation. And we're in a separatist moment. How much these attacks impact policy will be revealed in the weeks and months ahead. Phil Prazen, KXAN News. We checked with the University of Texas. They tell us all faculty and students in Berlin are safe and accounted for. We also checked with Texas State, but they say they do not have any students studying abroad in Germany right now.